the Mark, the Mark V Volkswagen Golf. Um, it's been playing up the last few weeks. Um, it keeps randomly stalling out um, when you first, before the engine's actually got hot and up to sort of normal temperature, it, it randomly sort of cuts out. Um, it's getting a bit worse. So I think it's related to a previous issue I had with this, with the crank sensor wiring. Um, but I'm gonna um, hopefully use a new gadget I bought fairly recently that I haven't used up until now. So I'm gonna sort of um, have a go at using that at the same time. Uh, I'll show you what happens. Well, <laughs> what I've, I've had a little poke around in the engine bay and discovered um, something. So I'll just start the car. The car's running normally. It's quite cold. I've, I've, um, it's literally first thing in the morning, so it's, the engine's not warm. Uh, so, I was having a poke around last night, and um, so I'm in the engine bay here. Um, this is a 1.9 TDI, so the wiring loom down here. So I gave that wiring loom a poke. Get some light on it. And it just stalls out the engine completely. So it's that wiring loom and the conduit. Um, and I had a problem with that, well, maybe two years ago now. Um, the sort of corrugated conduit had chafed through the crank sensor wire. Um, so I'm I, I put a little solder sleeve type repair on the wire. I'm thinking maybe the solder's um, broken down and it's got like a, a dry joint sort of thing and it just needs uh, a proper, another repair doing. So I'm going to strip that back, but I've got this, um, got this new gadget that I want to use. Um, it's like a power probe type thing. It's a Viag, v Diag tool. V2, V200. Um, it can basically apply 12 volts power to various bits and pieces. Um, you can power up sort of circuits. You can test resistance values and sort of DC voltage and also um, AC, well, AC voltage as well, um, which acts as like an oscilloscope. So I'm going to try and use that feature to see if I can pick up a crank sensor signal and see if basically um, I've got a good see if I've got a good signal on that on that crank sensor wire and then sort of wiggle the loom see if it drops out um, just fiddling around really trying to use this new tool because I bought it a few months back not used it properly yet so um, just fiddling really out of interest um, so I'll hook it up and um, film it Right, so uh, I've got the, the power probe, the V-Diag tool V200 circuit probe thing. Um, I've got it plugged, in, well, I've pierced the crank sensor signal wire uh, down here, purple one. Um, and you can see that I'm reading like 4.2 volts or something. Right, I start the engine and you should be able to see it crank sensor signal on there. Um, and then I'm going to wiggle this earth wire that I repaired. Uh, I've kind of traced the fault down to this solder connection here. I don't know if the, it's actually within the break in the wire is happening within the solder sleeve thing there or just to the end of it. Um, it's a bit hard to tell. Um, it's a bit intermittent when it sort of cuts the engine. but I'll show you. Right. So we've got a crank sensor signal showing on the, uh, on the screen there. This is on the alternating voltage setting, AC voltage. So 
I'm going to wiggle this um, this earth wire for the crank sensor. See if I can get that to drop out. I think as the engine gets hard, as, as the engine gets warmer, it gets harder to make it stall for some reason. It does seem to be temperature related. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I I just tugged on that slightly. Uh, I was kind of manipulating it around, but when I tugged on it, that's when it cut the signal. Um, so I was hoping, I was hoping that this would um, show the signal kind of dropping out, in and out as I was wiggling. Um, but it seems to be a bit all or nothing. I think it might be sort of the refresh rate of this. Um, of this is too slow potentially to pick up any sort of minor sort of fluctuations because it uh, I don't know if you heard it beeping it kind of refreshes every second or something, every two seconds it, it goes bleep 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 and that's it refreshing so um, I mean it looks like you can use it to see scope kind of um, patterns um, but it's not as good as a proper oscilloscope um, I have got another one Oh, hang on. I did something there. Oh, yeah. Ah. Just having a wiggle then. That's interesting. Uh -huh. I'm just manipulating it around there. It looks like it is changing something. Anyway, oh yeah. So it looks like you might, you maybe don't even need the engine running. It seems to be more effective with the, um, the engine off actually, and it drops out the signal. Oh, cool. Anyway, so yeah, it's just a little. I'm just messing around really. Um, it's quite handy this actually this tool uh, because you can change the um, you can change the probe for it's just like a normal sort of four mil I think it's called or like a banana banana plug you can change that for any sort of um, multimeter wire it's okay with test test leads um, so you can plug that in um, and sort of put various attachments so I have got like a piercing probe which might, um, yeah, I've managed to get in there anyway. Um, I'll have to sort of seal it up somehow. I might regret that later. I might, might end up losing. Uh, that might get all crusty and corroded. I don't know. I'll try and uh, block it with some um, some kind of sealant anyway. But yeah, um, I think there's loads of videos online. I'll just show quickly what other stuff this can do. Um, don't want to make the video too long. But basically it's got four modes there. And you just cycle through the modes with the red button. So that's DC volts. Um, so if I put the probe on positive terminal of the battery, it shows you um, sort of DC voltage. So that shows you've got battery voltage, 12.4 volts, and you get a little red light there. If you've got good battery voltage, so 12 volts, um, and then that's on the earth terminal of the battery, and you get a green, you get a green LED, um, green screen, um, and that can also tell you sort of voltage drops and stuff as well, I believe. So if you say so you so you're, I'm on the positive there. If I put that on, say on the starter motor positive. Oh, see this? Yeah, so, okay. Bear with me a second. So, that's the cable direct from the, the battery. If I put my probe on there, oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong, I need to be on DC setting. Right. So if I put my probe on there, 
and there was like a high resistance in that cable well, it was corroded or something like that and I wasn't getting full battery voltage when I sort of connect to this point uh, I think as far as I know you lose the red LED so that can tell you if you've got like a, a high voltage drop in a, a cable um, so that's quite useful um, you can use this rocker switch to actually apply voltage to various components like if I wanted to light up a headlight I can I'm not sure which which cables which here but I could potentially light up a one of the lights um, using that I could have a fiddle but I don't want to <laughs> want to pop any bulbs or anything like that um, oh got fuses handy for um, checking fuses See, I've got, got good battery voltage on across the fuses. You can power up relays, you can do all sorts using this rocker switch. So you can either apply a power. See, I'm rocking it forward there. I've got power. Or you can rock it back and provide an earth. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then cycle through the other modes. We've, we've seen the alternating voltage. This is resistance, so you can use at the other end of the tool. You've got a like an extra bit of cable here and a crocodile clip, and basically you can you can test across components. So you can put a crocodile clip on one end of a. Why not use a fuse? end of my I've got a crocodile clip on one feet on one end and then see I've got zero zero ohms through that fuse as you would expect um, so and then it's also got then it's also got a diode mode as well so you can check um, I think resistance through diodes and direction of, of um, flow through a diode uh, so check that a diodes working properly um, so that's just a little snapshot of what this can do um, I've not really used it much so I'm no expert on it but I've got a couple of LEDs as well so it's useful a little, well, fun little tool to play around with um, yeah so I'm going to repair I'm going to go repair this wire now um, I think I've got enough slack in this extra bit of wire that I put in to to sort of snip it there, snip it either side and join the two together. I'll use a proper mechanical crimp this time because um, I'm not sure I trust these solder type sleeves in like high vibration hot areas. I might even change the one at this end as well. So, um, we'll see. I've repaired the um, cable with a a mechanical crimp. Uh, they're just it's just a cheap set of little uh, little crimps and crimping pliers, but it's pretty pretty good actually. Um, it's a bit bulky. Um, put a bit of heat shrink on there as well. Um, that I'm going to slide down and shrink up. I'm just going to give it a quick functional check. Start the engine, give it a tug.
seems good. Um, so I'm just gonna heat shrink that up, see how much slack I've got left in this cable, but, and see whether I end up changing that one. That's not, that's a bit higher up the loom, so I think the problem with this end, it sort of bends over the, so it's rooting, rooted down over the gearbox and it, and the loom bends. I think that's probably why that one's given up. So I might leave the top one. And it seems fine. So I'm um, going to put some heat shrink over that. And then that'll be it. Um, as far as the power probe goes, um, there are uh, several different, I think the original ones were called power probes. That's the brand. Um, they're quite a bit more expensive. Um, I guess maybe slightly higher quality, sort of for professional use, but for amateurs, this one's good, I think. Um, there's a few other people make them, Autel, I think, make one. Um, there's a few, few different sort of copies of the Power Probe. Um, but, yeah, um, so thank you very much for watching the video. Um, if it's helpful at all, or you've enjoyed it, um, maybe click like just to. <laughs> Just a bit of um, encouragement if it's if you actually anyone's actually enjoying the videos. Um, but thanks very much.